What did he say? The pastor. I didn't speak to the pastor, I spoke to a man. You should have spoken to the pastor. No, that wasn't the proper route for you to have taken, sister. The church is very clear you should have spoken to the pastor. You have no right rummaging through my past. This is your third parish in five years. I'll call the pastor then. Have him explain it to you. It's perfectly innocent why I left. I must call the pastor. I'm a good priest, and there's, there's nothing in my past to suggest otherwise. You will go after another priest and another until you are stopped. What nun did you speak to? I'm not saying. No, you have no right to act on your own. You are part of the religious order. You have taken vows, sister. And obedience is one of them. You answer to us. You've no right to step outside this church. I'll step outside the church if that's what needs to be done, though the door should shut behind me. I will do what needs to be done, though I be damned to hell. You must understand that, or you will mistake me. Now, did you give Donald Muller wine to drink? Never done anything wrong, sister. Never I have. Mortal sin? Yes. And? I confessed. You give Donald Willow wine to drink. Whatever I've done, I've put in the healing hands of my confessor. As if you. You're the same. You're not the same. Dog that bites is a dog that Bites. I do not justify what I do wrong and go on. I admit it, this is and take my medicine. Did you give Donald Muller wine to drink? No. Mental reservation? No. You lie. Very well. If you won't leave my office, I will leave a gun. I will not stop. No, no, wait, wait. You will request a transfer from this parish and you will take a leave of absence until it is granted. Do what for the love of God? My life is here. Don't! Please. Are we people? Am I flesh and blood like you? Are we just ideas and convictions? There are things I cannot explain. Do you understand? Even if you cannot understand the explanation, Remember, there are things beyond your knowledge. Even if you feel it is certainty, it is an emotion and not a fact. In the, in the spirit of charity, I implore you, on behalf of my life's work, you must behave responsibly. I don't want you. My reputation is at stake. You can preserve your reputation. I won't be able to continue my work. In the your work in the community should be discontinued. Even with nothing. That's not true. It's Donald Muller with nothing, and you took full advantage of that. I didn't do anything wrong. I care for that boy. Much. Because you smile with him and s sympathize with him and speak to him as if you were the same? I needed a friend. You are a cheat. The warm feeling you experienced when that boy looked at you with trust was not the sensation of virtue. It can be gotten by a drunkard from his tot of rum. You are a disgrace to the collar. The only reason you haven't been thrown out of the church is the decline in vocations. I can fight you. You will lose. I know that. I know. Where's your compassion? 
There's no way you can get at it. Stay here. Compose yourself. Use the phone if you like. Good day, Father. I have no sympathy for you. I know you are invulnerable to true regret. I cut your nails. Help me understand, Daisy. I thought you didn't take Valium. I do. But I'm sick, Daisy. Everyone knows that. But yet here you are in so-called recovery. Playing Betty Crocker. Cut up like a fucking Virginian ham. How's that safety net working for you? Tell me how you don't drag that blade across your skin and pray for the courage to press down. Tell me how your daddy helps you cope with that. I mean... You say that daddy loves you, and I bet he does, with every inch of his manhood. They didn't release you because you got better, Daisy. They just gave up. You call this life? Hmm? This. Spending daddy's money, buying your knickknacks and your fucking dollies eating his chicken and fattening up like some pr prized fucking heifer. You changed the scenery, not the situation. And the warden, he makes house calls. And everyone knows, everyone knows that he screws you. But, what they don't know is that you like it. <laughs> yeah, you like it. But whatever, man, it's cool. It's cool, whatever. A man is a dick, is a man, is a dick, is a valium, is a speculum, is a daddy. You like playing, Miss Rendon, don't you? Probably all you've ever known. Hmm? <laughs> now get the fuck out.